Hello everybody, welcome to Not Catch Adventure Parts on our YouTube page. My name is Tim and I'm one of the animal keepers here at Not Catch. So today we're going to be doing a slightly different video than usual. Today we're going to be talking about a tarantula. We aren't going to be doing a health check video, we're going to be doing a bit of interesting facts about them. So this is a Chilean road tarantula that I have here. Now you can get these in pet shops, they are sold. And they are a very good pet for the older child. And they don't do a lot, they do spend the majority of their time doing exactly that, what you see right now, sitting still and not moving. And that's very important because that's how these guys hunt. They don't lay an ordinary web like you see, like your domestic house spider does, in the corner of your rooms, which you have to spend ages trying to get rid of. These lay a very different type of web, it's called a carpet web. And what it does is they lay it across the ground, and then across the ground they have some trip lines. Now these guys are native from Chile, so they have lots of low-lying branches from in the wild where they are from. And what they do is they leave these trip lines for their prey to set off. Now they mainly eat on small insects, we feed our ones here on crickets. And what they'll do is they'll hide underneath a rock or some logs or something like that. They'll wait for that cricket to come along and self each of those individual trip lines. And this guy has a little radar on his head and he knows exactly where that cricket is. And he waits until the very last second when that cricket's right in front of him and he will pounce and he'll jet that full venom into the cricket or whatever small insect he's decided to prey upon that day. Now that venom doesn't actually kill its prey, all it does is stun it. However, it does have something very important in it. It has a stomach acid like our one. Now these guys don't have any teeth so they can't chew their food. So what do they do? They leave it for a couple of hours, wrapped up in their web, they wait for that venom to get to work and they stick their fangs back into that cricket and suck up all the insides like a thick juicy soup and that's how these guys get their nutrition. Now a lot of people are arachnophobias, so they're scared of spiders. That's a real real shame because spiders hunt some of the deadliest animals on the planet. In fact they hunt the most deadliest animal to humankind, which is of course the mosquito. More people die from mosquito bites every year than that have ever died from tarantula bites or spider bites in one year. So these guys are incredibly important, incredibly important to us as our friends. Now what makes an arachne, what makes a spider, is anything with eight legs but ten limbs. So this will be eight legs on a spider and then ten extra limbs as well. Now you'll be able to see hopefully that this spider is travelled, or the tarantula is covered, in lots of very fine hairs. Now they use those hairs for two things. Not only to pick up the vibrations in the carpet web, but also to defend themselves. Now these guys are also preyed upon by foxes and other small mammals. So what do they do? They can aerialise all those hairs. And every single one of those hairs have a poisonous barb on the end of them. And if I was a fox trying to eat one of these guys, it's going to go into my eyes, it's going to go into my lungs, it's going to go into my mouth. It's going to be very uncomfortable, it's going to be very unpleasant. However, I'm still really hungry and I decide to eat one of these guys as a meal. The last thing the strider is going to do is bite me on the tongue and it's going to be very unpleasant. It won't kill me, the venom's only about as strong as a wasp sting. However, it's going to make my tongue swell and it's not going to be very pleasant. And now these guys are also preyed upon by birds as well. And they develop a very good way to defend themselves. They have lots and lots of eyes on their head. In fact, this guy has about 80 to 90 eyes on top of his head to be able to spot anything like birds. Now because there's so many eyes and he has such a small brain, he can't process all that information. So what he uses those eyes for is just to detect the difference between light and shadow. And that's how these guys look after themselves. Now just like a snake, spiders also shed their skin. They don't do it as regularly, slightly less regularly, however they do shed. And what they'll do is they have about half an hour window when they do shed to get their entire body out, otherwise they'll get trapped in the old shed. Well thank you very much for watching this video guys. Please like our Facebook page and there are more YouTube channels out there. Do share and like this video as well. Thanks, bye bye.